This is with the review for the Black & Decker coffee maker and grinder. First, you'll have to set the clock on the coffee maker. You can do so just by pushing the minute button on the right hand side, like I'm doing here, and the hour on the top left. This will allow you to set the current time, and then later allow you to use the automatic start feature. The power button's in the center, right there is the water. Lift the flap up and pour in the desired amount of water. And it'll give you a better look of it here. You can see the measure on the side and you can see how much water is put in. The reservoir does not disperse a specified amount. Whatever you put in will be used to make coffee. The best strategy here is to take the pot, fill it up to your desired level, and then pour it into the machine. The left side here is the coffee maker, grinder, and where you'll put any beans you'd like to in. This tray comes right out, and in you will put any coffee grinds or beans that you'd like to brew. The actual coffee maker itself um, does have the actual grinder built right into that filter piece. You do have to be careful washing it as the, again, the blades are right in built into it, but it does make it pretty easy in terms of uh, cleaning and setup. In this case here, I'm putting grinds in. So I simply just pour the grinds in. And there is an included spoon if you need that. Lift it up and pop it right into the machine. Just like that. There's a little handle that's included that makes it pretty easy to open. Push it on the top. And you're gonna set your time. Now, there's a program button, second button down on the right. In the same way setting the clock, set your hours you want to start after pushing the program once and the minutes on the right hand side and there's the minutes you can set if you want the grinder to operate or not so if you put in grinds you would not you don't want it to and if you put in beans you can choose the strength and the speed you also choose the strength of the coffee by clicking the strong button by pushing the start button it will start automatically if you push the program button it will start at the desired time without anything else pushed. You can see here that I've pushed the start button and the coffee is brewing. And just a close up here on the dashboard. And I apologize, it's a little bit out of focus here. Sorry about that. But again, as you can see, we have the hours and minutes on the top. And uh, the coffee should be slowly brewing by now. And you can see it dropping in there. The pot that comes with it is pretty good. Nothing special. Uh, a basic candle um, and basic lid that functions well. It uh, is glass, so you need to be careful for any drops. And uh, there is a heated element below it that keeps coffee warm. A nice feature I do like about this coffee maker is that it does tell you on the screen, after some brewing, how long it's been sitting there for. So it can give you a good indication. And of course, there is an auto shut off after two hours. So if you do forget it, I uh, forget it on and you left for work, it will turn itself off automatically, which is nice to know. And again, the buttons here hours on the top, minutes on the right hand side, do the grind. You have your strength and then do the program, and then you have the auto. And again, pushing that will start it up on the auto cycle and make sure that it's set to be on. Again, you don't want to push the power button, that is just to start coffee instantly. The actual size of the coffee maker is pretty reasonable um, for one that has a water and a grinder built in. Um, you'll notice that this one isn't as high as a lot of other grinders, um, and it's simply because they chose to put it on the side. So you're um, basically giving up a bit of width space on the counter, uh, and actually you be able to go underneath your countertops. I had no problem with it under my countertop and the size of it. Um, if you already have a coffee maker that it has a grinder or uh, a large base to it, it won't be much bigger. A nice feature about this is the um, instant pour. So as you're brewing it, you can actually pour, pull it out at any point and pour yourself a cup of coffee. How this works is in the actual um, head that 
drops the coffee into the pot, um, there's a little spring in there. So when the spring's down, or when the spring's extended, uh, coffee won't come out, so you won't see it drip onto the plate. When the mug is put in, it pushes the lid here, as you can see, the lid is a little bit higher in the center. It pushes the spring back up and lifts the seal, allowing the coffee to come in. And that's why on the coffee cup, or sorry, the coffee pot, there are some holes there that allow the coffee to come in, no matter the angle you have it sit at. Although the coffee maker's features, such as the grinder, the auto start, and the instant coffee are not new to the coffee making world, the coffee maker does set these features at a new price point. That is quite attractive. You will be hard pressed to find these features available at a more reasonably leveled or priced coffee maker. Again, this coffee maker isn't one that's going to break any uh, rules or that's going to bring in any new features that are not already out there, but simply a well built and quality coffee maker that should provide you with um, some more niche features that are at a much more affordable price level. Overall, it's well built, it has a good set of features and uh, does not take up too much counter space. The grinder works well on it. The amount of water that you pour in indicates how much water you get out. I do wish it did have a reservoir that you could set the amount of water, but again, at the price point it's sold at, it's quite reasonable. Overall, I'd give this coffee maker four out of five stars and we'd be happy to recommend it.